Pizuki Sojiro. Honestly, we've needed a character like this for a very long time. This is a single target berserker that can off themselves uh, through the use of the MP. A lot of people might find that like annoying because Zeke is not supposed to be staying on the field that long. But for me, someone that runs 90 plus plus multi core and sometimes does do like min turns, like something like this is so helpful. It's not even funny. So let's get started about talking about Dojiro, the man that uh, his attack animations are literally just him dodging Alco and Alice, if I'm not mistaken. So this man is able to escape from a magician that speaks volumes about his skill. It, base attack, almost 10k, really good number. It's not above 10k, but it's like close enough that it doesn't really matter. It is really funny though that there's a berserker that has more HP than attack because that's usually not how it goes. Even if it's only like 154, 44. Or no, 145. Even if it's only 145 difference, it, 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 it's attack is usually the higher stat on Berserker is. Star weight, star gen, normal uh, Berserker numbers, MP charge 0.5%, and death rate. Uh, do not bring him to fight anyone that death rocks. He's just gonna die. This is an absurdly high number. It's funny though that it's 666. Would have been funnier if it was 69, but nah. Nah, this is way funnier. This is way funnier. The deck is like absolutely fine. Uh, arts cards, three hits at 0.5. They're not bad, but you need to crit on them. They're not going to do much unless you're critting. Uh, quick card, use a berserker. It's four hits, so it's something but I wouldn't bank on this. this is mostly just for mighty chains. All right, first skill, 20% card buff for arts and buffs are lasting for three turns and then lethal damage evasion. This lasts for five times three turns. So how this works is that if he is going to die, he will take no damage. If he is not going to die, he will take damage. So say, Sojuro has 5,000 HP left. He is about to get hit by a noble phant phantasm that does 30,000 damage. He will not take damage from it. Now, they somehow he damage cut him enough that he's only going to take 4,000. He is going to take 4,000 damage. But for him, that's actually a good thing. He wants to, like, truly get as close to death as possible with his uh and this is just like more information about it it's not gonna block dots uh it does stack with normal dodge and normal dodge is used before lethal dodge again. so going back to the mp example it's not gonna take one of these stacks it's gonna take the dodge first. so Based on the fact that this is like these, this and normal dodge are two different things, I don't, I'm pretty sure Pierce Evasion is not gonna work. I'm pretty sure Pierce Evasion is not gonna like bust first through uh, Lethal Death Evasion or Invul. Invul Pierce specifically works on dodge. This is not considered a dodge, or not the tradition. It's like the same reason, like, uh, Invul doesn't go through solemn defense. It's not what it's programmed to do. So, second skill. This part is the easier part. The lower his HP is, the higher his crit damage will get to 100%. You need the skill fully lowered to get 100%, but as your base is, what is this? 60 at low 25% HP, 60 to 100. Not a bad crit buff considering like all it is is get low HP and for a berserker that's not hard. And for a berserker that has a skill, an effect like this, it's even easier. What, what doesn't kill him is literally only going to make him stronger. 
here's the part that might confuse a little bit of, uh, some people this will double your mp gauge whatever it is if you're at 50 and you have this maxed out you'll go to 100 if you're at level one you're at 66 you pop this and then you're at 100 or sorry 100 percent gauge i don't know why i'm going here this is that is not what this means. he does not have a battery for himself he whatever gauge he has he doubles it at most it's one point it's a 1.5 uh times increase to two percent i mean two times and just another note here famous if you're at 150 it's gonna go to 300 percent. that's actually more important than you'd think for trying to do overcharge stuff like it it will actually impact him much in the same way it it affects uh Bizet. like the scaling for his oc is actually significant third skill if you have used ishtar og ishtar this effect is very 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 familiar to you this is ishtar's third skill but for card buffs with its own twist on it too i should say so if you are not good at counting cards if you don't if you're not aware of what cards are going to show up next turn this skill is not going to be fun for you uh essentially if you are in a one three three this skill isn't going to matter whatsoever it is only when the single enemy is in wave two or three that you can effectively use this skill otherwise it will 100 percent be wasted any cards you are going to get next turn will be the card type you choose this turn but it will also chain sorry card buff next turn any cards you have next turn will be the card you chose to buff so he is able to do mighty mighty brave chains oh no sorry not mighty brave chains uh buster brave chains off base cards even though he only has two buster guards he is actually able to do that really nice he's able to do that but the issue is you have to know the card rng now if you're using bb completely different story she locks down the cards and then you can literally swap between doing a mighty chain and doing a buster brave chain like literally turn for turn like a one 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 you can literally do mighty chain buster brave chain mighty chain technically it's just really hard to actually get that set up so this skill if you're not doing card manipulation it's just going to be straight up annoying to deal with but it's not a bad skill considering he does get a 50 percent buster buff uh this combined with first skill if you choose so passive skills 10 percent star gen with presence concealment a knowledge of the soa crit attack chance resistance i'm pro i probably but butchered that uh crit attack chance resistance is always nice on berserker especially if it's for free if you have to pay for it with pens eh, it's not really that worth but like just getting it as passives awesome much harder to it's much harder to crit a berserker down if they can't be crit like they're they'll actually stick around for a turn or two more maybe take a couple few a few more hits thus getting their mp easier last skill or last passive good luck charm terror immunity confusion immunity skill seal immunity as a passive he already had a niche case on the mp and i'm not even talking about him killing himself plus uh plus he shows this multiple times in some of his videos uh we'll get to it in a second but this if you played through uh maho sukai event um, again i'm probably not saying that right uh you will know there's a fight where you just get confused over and over and over again until you break a certain bar 
That shit is the most irritating shit. Like, especially for Berserkers, this is more impactful than you actually realize. Because Berserkers getting stuck in the skill seal confusion, like, loop, that they are dead. They already don't have high survivability. If you cannot pop skills on them, if you cannot kill the enemies, they're fucking dead. They are just going to die a sad, pathetic death of not being able to even do what you put them out in the party to do in the first place. This is speaking from experience. I had to reset that fight three times across my accounts because of this shit. CQs, where he's probably going to be seen the most. This is a really good one to have. I'm just saying. This is the first time I can actually say this uh, extra attack of pen is actually useless if you do not give him a guts. Because the chance of you... Uh, I don't want to say it's completely useless. It is very possible to get an um, extra attack with getting three of his cards. It's just not... His highest damaging turn is not going to include an extra attack. It's going to be Buster, Buster, Buster MP. He's not going to get an extra attack unless you give him a Guts. Although if you give him a Guts, his HP is 1 or super low, and then he's proccing this. The more HP you actually give him, uh, the higher damage he can take like the higher threshold. So it's, this isn't a case like esports where you want their HP to be as low as possible. No, you want his HP to be as high as possible. Because So when the guts brings him back, he's at the lowest number. He's at here and not here, like slightly above because of um, his HP bar is just too small. Like 3000 for someone that has 6000 HP is half their HP. 3,000 for someone that has 15,000 HP is 20% of their HP. Bigger bar, set number, varies on percentage. This is almost a requirement to have this maxed out. Otherwise, you are not using Sojiro effectively in uh, farming or 90 plus. Reason being is this 20 number. 20 is very nice for you to have for yourself for a self battery like without you having to do anything speaking specifically about mantle the reason being is that aoe 30s are getting way more common or aoe 10s with an aoe with a 20 if we're talking rains this means that with just an aoe 30 battery he is able to mp just through his second skill being maxed out. He hit 50, so he can go to 100. And the extra charge will get, net him a little bit more overcharge for his MP, which very helpful. But the most important thing is he is able to MP whenever you need him to MP, as long as you're doing multi. As long as you're doing multi-core, you're pretty much set. Bitch, Darkness, Castoria, whoever, doesn't really matter. He's going to be able to do his job. Uh, I would, uh, as much as I say extra attack is useless, I'd still get it over this, but he's a welfare, so you have these coins, so it's not an issue. You can, you can actually level these. I'm just talking order of priority. It's this, and then I'd say probably this and this, just because fighting caster specifically is not going to happen as much as him actually doing a brave chain or extra attack. And he ignores invul ignores damage cut not defense ignores damage cut and these activate first damage to one enemy super effective damage for anyone that has a defense up status and just a note here sacrifice you can it will proc guts and it can't be prevented but he will come back It'll be here, because free MP5, and then OC, 10% attack buff blasting for one turn. This is pretty useless if he does not have a Guts, but if he does have a Guts, then you can do a Buster Brave Chain leading with the MP, 
Buster bitch, Buster crits uh, on the tail end while having this attack buff. Actually sounds really, really nice. But key thing here is ignores damage cut. Uh, from, I don't know this off the top of my head, Plushy like brings my attention to it the most. Uh, there is not something in the game that actually ignores damage cut. We have defense pierce, but pierce damage cut is something very different. Damage cut is whatever damage you had minus a number. So if you have something that has 5,000 damage or not 5,000, 500,000 damage cut, you need to output at least 501 damage to even do any damage yourself. Otherwise, he's just going to take no damage whatsoever. This is a huge issue with lower investment accounts. Like if you are a new player, there is no conceivable way you are actually outputting like fight completely fighting damage cut in the encounters where you are not supposed to break the damage cut. You're not supposed to. Um, and you you are literally able to just brute force it. Um, one that comes to mind is uh, the challenge quest for Bunny Event, uh, Daikokten. If you do not have a unit that can just burst down her HP, that is a miserable uh, sustain fight where you're constantly trying to kill all the rats every turn uh, while also doing somewhat good damage to the boss. That fight will take so long if you are just AoE uh, trying to clear. If you run single target, you burst through it. I've seen two turns. I did it in three with Ozzy. Mine's only MP2 level 90. If he was at level 100, uh, probably a different story and I would have two turned it. But here's defense uh, damage cut. This cannot be understated how good it is on a welfare on a welfare not an ssr not someone you have to spend 300 dollars to get one copy you play the event and you get this maxed out or you get this maxed out again super if they have damage cut if they have defense uh at all super effective i believe this includes invul when yeah, actually, I didn't even realize the wiki had this up here. So it gives a breakdown on what's the difference between damage cut and uh, defense up. Like damage cut here. They have the same icon, though. That's that's where this issue lies. They have pretty much the same icon. So unless you know you are fighting damage cut or def uh, defense up, you kind of have to be aware. So because there is this difference here uh hang on i actually yeah so i i'm gonna correct myself now them having damage cut i don't believe is going to proc the super effective damage they need to actually have some kind of defense up uh going on there has to be something luckily a lot of units that have defense up also would have damage cut too or sorry if they have damage cut a lot of the times they will have defense up and if not don't kind of give uh usually it's gonna be like one of the permanent permanent effects for the cq or another unit if it's a challenge quest. uh yeah it, it really just depends on what the encounter is skills not the worst to level but this is an ordeal call to matt you need to clear it otherwise alice alco and sojuro are just not getting me fun you're not gonna have a good time they're gonna get stuck and you're gonna get stuck on a very small threshold and it's just gonna annoy the shit out of you for a while until you get through ordeal call Bon CE, 30% MP damage and gives himself a guts for one time. Does not say it stacks with other guts, but at least they're blatant about that. He is supposed to have a guts at some point. He's supposed to have one, doesn't have it in the kit. 
his kit functions better with the guts they only do this sometimes like kiara so like summer kiara uh where like they have kits that them having another guts especially one that stacks with other guts Herc is very similar to uh they'll hide in the bond c like kiara already has the guts Herc already has the guts better bond C's just make give them better guts this he really does need it if they do go through with the changes to uh bond ce's keep saying this i've been saying this for the last two years that they haven't actually done it if they actually do go through and make a change this is going to be a good one to have just like unlocked and ready to go he's just going to function better uh it will be a little more annoying uh if you cannot turn it off because then when you want him to actually just die in the first hit he doesn't then you have another issue but is what it is right now all right i am yeah i i'm gonna go i have a sponsored stream today and i wanted to at least have this video out for youtube all right peace thank you for making it to the end of this video if you enjoyed drop a like or sub hope to see you in the next one peace